Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can bin a scale variable in SPSS or in other words create groups or categories from it. Click on transform and go for visual binning. You'll then get the visual binning menu which will show the scale variables only, in this case there's only one so I'll move the one I want to bin to the variables to bin. Click on continue. We now get an option to actually do the binning in itself. First we need to enter a name for the bin variable. Uh, let's call it length uh, bin. It already suggests to use as a label for the bin variable uh, the same as the original label but with all the way at the end bin to it. And we need to decide if we want the endpoints to be inclusive or exclusive. So, for example, here 2 but under or equal to 20 would include 20, while excluded 2 but under 20 would not include the 20 in itself. I usually use the excluded version. Then we need to make the cut points. If you click on make cut points, there are three main options. Either you can use equal widths, you can use it based on percentiles, or you can use standard deviations. I'll use equal widths for this example. My first cut point, let's have a look, the minimum is 5, so let's say I want my first cut point to be at 8. I can then enter either the number of cut points I want, or the width I want them to be. As soon as you enter one and hit tab, the other one will be completed. So for example, if I enter number of cut points, and I say I want to have 5 cut points, as soon as I hit tab, it will actually calculate that 4.4 will be enough as the width. If you click on apply, these cut points will be visually shown and we can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cut points made. What's uh, especially useful here is that in visual binning you can also click on make labels and now also the appropriate labels are actually assigned. We now click on OK a new variable uh, will be added. I have to click on OK one more time that the new variable is going to be added. And if I go back to my data file, you can see in the variable view that the length bin is indeed now up there. In the data view, it's all the way to the right. And here's the length bin. And if you hit the value labels button, you'll actually see how that translates. I could now, for example, generate a frequency table of this bin length. So, for example, analyze descriptive statistics frequencies. At the bottom is my preferred length. Click on OK. And I nicely get a frequency table of the bin variable. 